Hello everyone, it's been a while, and I thought I would share a very interesting case with you. In this case, we have a uh, full mouth reconstruction that will take place. Uh, the doctor and the patient uh, would like to preserve certain implants that were placed in this area over here, but would like to um, place some implants on the other side since this bridge is holding on natural teeth that have uh, movement right now. So the first step in this case will be to extract all of the site, but maintaining this implant supported bridge that is very, very stable and can really act as a nice anchorage for the rest of the subsequent guides that will go on there. So once this is done and extracted, we would be left with something that would look like this. And on top of this, what we will fo follow and um, sit on will be this guide here, which will serve, will have basically two purposes. The first purpose will be to guide the surgeon into performing the bone reduction, but the second uh, purpose will also be uh, drilling the guide pins. And being that we have a stable area here, the positioning of these guide pins will be very precise and uh, very important because the, all the subsequent guides will uh, rely on the positioning of those guide pins. So once this is done, we would be ready to go ahead and do the drilling. So this is the drill guide. Again, the same guide pin, same positioning, and we have this uh, stable area here. So the surgery will be performed. And now, once that is done and this is taken off, we can go ahead and take away this bridge. Of course, we have implants down there. So it would look something like this, of course, with implants in this we will be ready to do an immediate loading. So the way we decided to do this in this case is we have our beautiful temporary uh, over here. So this is just a uh, long-term immediate temp. Uh, basically, as you see, there's no arms, there's no magnets, there's nothing here. All that needs to be done is picking up the uh, cylinders. So what we created is this here device, which again follows the same uh, place for where those guide pins were subsequently planned. Uh, the difference is that this immediate temp will now sit in there. It fits so nicely with friction um, right in here, like this once it's picked up. So you see, very, very stable. It's not going anywhere. Uh, so once that is put into place where those guide pins uh, were previously placed, the cylinders can be picked up. And once they're picked up, it will be unscrewed and then this will uh, come out of this here positioning jig and there will not be any other finishing required uh, other than uh, basically uh, finishing the underside and around the uh, cylinders that were picked up. So there's not gonna be any cutting arms or a repolishing or adding some gingiva because it's pretty much uh, all uh, prearranged. So, um, just an interesting case and I would th I thought I would uh, I would share it. Have a great day.